OK, I'll give it back to them. I'm giving it back to them now. Well, they were very good to lend it to us, but to be honest, I was just trying to show Cecil something. OK, all the way. Have you got it? Have you got it? Have you got it now? Have you? They've got it for me. And they say thank you. Thank you for remembering them. Well, <laughs> here we... Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, where were we? We were with the four animals, and they were making their way into the forest of doom. Night came down into the forest like black water, and soon the forest was flooded with darkness. The four animals, they held on to each other tight as they made their way through the dark, because in a forest at night, all the creatures come out to hunt. And there was this one. Can you guess what this one is? an owl. The owl flew silently through the woods, but the animals, they kept on going. And then, well, it was the cat with such good eyes, the cat said, look over there in distance. I see small hut because I see fire in windows, light shining through. Maybe some people are living there. And the dog said, hey, cat, I think you're right. Maybe they'd be friendly to us and give us a little bit of food and maybe even a little bit of shelter. But first, we got to find out what kind of humans they are. So they all went up and they started listening at the walls of the wooden hut, but they couldn't hear anything. So the donkey said, <laughs> I got a great idea. <laughs> Look inside, I'll find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, the donkey looked, tried to reach up into the window to look in, but he wasn't tall enough, so he couldn't see anything. And the dog said, don't worry, donkey, I's gonna get on your back. So the dog get on the donkey's back, and he tried to, st he couldn't see anything either. The cat said, no, don't worry, I'll get on your back. He got on the donkey's back, got on the dog's back, but even he couldn't stretch. And the chicken said, bark, bark, bark. she me, bark, bark. I can get on donkey, I can get on the dog, and I can get on the bark, 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 cat, and bark, bark, look in. And that's what he did. He hopped onto the donkey, onto the dog, onto the cat. <coughs> Watch where you put your claw, chicken. The chicken looked in. Shall I tell you what the chicken saw? The chicken saw four of the worst people in the world sitting around playing cards. It was the gang of bandits led by Scarface Bob. And Scarface Bob had a scar down here that zigzagged down here, then down his neck, then down his front, then down all the way down to his foot, and up the other side, and up the back and zigzagged again. And he dealt a card to Bojangle Bob. And Bojangle Bob had loads of earrings, all shrunken skulls jingling on his lobes. And he dealt a card to Laughing Bob. And Laughing Bob was Laughing Bob. <laughs> he dealt a card to Silent Bob who said nothing. The chicken got down, the animals got down, and the cat said, hey, chicken, well, what kind of people did you see? The chicken said, bark, bark, bark. I looked in the bark, bark, window, and I saw bark, 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 the nicest bark, 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 for people you ever see, bark, 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 bark. kind of bark, bark, faces. Chickens have a brain that is only this small. So you can understand why the chicken uh, saw them as nice people. The dog said, hey, this is our chance. Why don't we have a feist gig? We can play our instruments and sing our sweet, sweet music. Ready for Britain's Got Talent. What do you say? So the animals, they gathered around. And the dog said, OK, after four, give your best music.
One, two, three, four. And mixing all together, like different paints in the water, the music mixed. The sweet, sweet music. The chicken. The donkey. The dog. The cat. Cecil, can you imagine all that music mixed together? Well, the bandits could. Scarface Bob said, Oh my goodness, we're surrounded, surrounded by demons. And he ran out. Bojangle Bob said, It's not demons, it's not demons, it's vampires. And he ran out. Laughing Bob, he got up and said, mwah, mwah, mwah. And he ran out. Silent Bob got up and went, and he ran out. Well, they evacuated the hut. So all the animals went round, and the dog said, Look, what kind people. They heard our sweet, sweet music, and they gave us the shelter and all the food on the table, and they even left us the fire. The cat said, Listen, I'm going to lie by fire, for I am cat, and see what we do. The chicken said, bark, bark, I'm going to sleep by the bark, bark, window because I, bark, bark, I like the night breeze. Bark, bark. The donkey said, <laughs> I'm going to sit by the other window and fall asleep. <laughs> and the dog said, well, I'm a kind of a watchdog, a god dog, see. So I'm going to sleep by the front door. And all the animals went to sleep. But my dear Cecil, my dear friends, the bandits had run for two miles, and then they got out of breath, and they got together, and Scarface Bob said, Oi, boys, 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 did anyone actually see any demons? No, boss. Boys, did anyone actually see any vampires? Any Frankensteins? Any ghosts? No, boss. No, boss. <laughs> Right, boys, that means there's some squatters in our cottage. Let's go back there and peel them like a mango. Get out your steely knives, boys. Shing! They all got out their steely knives and back they went to the hut. When they got to the hut, Scarface Bob said, Oi, Bojangle Bob, you go round one window. Oi. Silent Bob, you go round the other window. Oi, laughing Bob, <laughs> quiet. Laughing Bob, you go down the chimney. <laughs> I'm going to go in the front door. All right, boys, on my mark. One, two, three, four, now. Nah. Well, Scarface Bob, he opened the door and he trod right on the dog, who jumped up in the air and gummed him. I've been gummed by a vampire. And the bandit ran out. Well, the next bandit, Bojangle Bob, he stepped right on the chicken. And the chicken pecked him. Oh, no, I've been pecked. I've been pecked by a vampire. And he ran out. And then Silent Bob, stepped on the donkey, and the donkey said, Hee-haw, hee-haw, stop stepping on me. And the donkey kicked him, and Silent Bob flew through the air, silently. Now, Laughing Bob came down the chimney, and he stepped right on the cat. Now, who step on me? Ching, ching, have some of these. Where been scratched? Where been scratched? And Laughing Bob ran as well. And those four bandits, they ran all the way to the nearest village, and they never went into the forest of doom again. Well, the four animals, they didn't go to the city. They didn't join the long queues for Britain's Got Talent. Instead, they were delighted with their new house, and they stayed where they were.
and every evening, after a nice tea of honey, bread, they came out on the veranda, and they made their sweet, sweet music. <laughs> Now, my dear friends, that is the end of the story. You see, Cecil, nobody's useless. Nobody. And that's the difference between things that are alive and things that are not alive. All right? Now say goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you next time on the Story Emporium Repair Shop.